Good morning, children. Welcome to today's EVS class. We learned some interesting facts about elephants in our previous class. Today we are going to learn the relationship between different animals and how the humans use animals. So, what is today's topic? Yes, relationship between different animals and how the humans use animals. Humans use animals in different ways. So let's check how the humans use animals and how the humans behave to them. And we will also do some textbook activities. Children, do you remember what we learned in the last class? Yes, we learned some interesting facts about elephants. A group of elephants is called herd. An elephant herd has only females and baby elephants. The oldest female is the leader of the herd. A herd may have 10 to 12 female elephants and young ones. Male elephants live in the herd till they are 14 to 15 years old. Then they leave their herd and move around alone. Leaves and twigs are the favorite food of elephants. An adult elephant can eat more than 100 kilograms of leaves and twigs in one day. They love to play with mud and water. The mud keeps their skin cool. Let's do some textbook activities. First one, if you were Nandu and you lived in a herd, what kind of things would you do? The answer is, I would play, I would sing, I would play in the mud, bath in the river, etc. You can write your own answers. I am saying is just a model. Next question. In the elephant herd, the oldest female elephant decides everything. And who takes decisions in your family? The answer is my father and mother. If your grandparents make decisions in your home, you can write that. Next question. Nandu did things that he liked to do. If you could spend a whole day with your friends, what all would you do? The answer is play, dance, sing, eat. You can write whatever you want to do. You can write whatever you wish to do. Next question. Find out and write which other animals live in herds. Answer is sheep, zebras, goat, deer, elephants. These are the some animals who live in herds. Next question. Do you also live in a group? Do you like to live together like that? What do you think are the good and the bad points of living in a group? Write them. So, you want to write good points as first columns 
and bad points in second column. Okay. Good points. We can enjoy a lot with others. We can enjoy a lot with others. If we have a lot of members in our house, we can enjoy more. It is a good point. Then we get help from others. It is also a good point. We get help from others. Next one, we have to do less work. Because the family members will help us. So we have to do less work. Next, bad points. There may be quarrels. Sometimes a small misunderstanding might lead to fight. So it is a bad point. Next, food and space are required for all. Some members may not have enough food and there may not be enough space for everyone to stay. So this is also one bad point. Next activity, think and write. Why do you think the egret is sitting on buffalo? Because it has to eat small itchy insects from the body of buffalo. Actually, this is very beneficial for both animals. The egret gets food and the buffalo's itching decreases. That's why we always see these together. Have you seen any other animal riding on another animal? Write its name. Yes, we often see crows sitting on buffaloes and crows sitting on cows, isn't it? And can you see a bird sitting in a crocodile's mouth? What is that bird doing? Actually, it cleans the crocodile's mouth by eating the food particles left in the mouth. So, it is beneficial to both animals. Next question. Which animals do we use for riding? The answer is elephant, horse, camel. So, these are the animals we used for riding. Elephants, horse, camel. Which animals do we use for carrying loads? Yes, we use some animals to carrying loads. Horse, elephant, bullock, buffalo, donkey, these are some animals we used to carrying loads. Next activity, look at these pictures and read what these animals are sharing with their friends. First one, sneak. The basket is only home I have. I have forgotten what it is like in the open jungle and fresh air. For me, it is only the basket and the snake charmer. So, the snake is looking very sad and it is telling that it is kept caged inside a small bamboo basket. Now, it has forgotten the open jungle and it misses the jungle and fresh air because it has to remain in the basket. 
and that is why it is very sad. Next one, bear. You see me in circus, dancing and jumping through rings of fire. You clap and enjoy. Do you think that I also enjoy all this? If I do not do this, I will get no food. Only get a beating. So, what happened to bear? The circus people make him jump and dance. And if he doesn't, they don't even give him food. That is so bad. Next is horse. You have only seen how fast I run. Have you seen my shoes? Do you know how much pain I get when they fix the horse shoes to my hooves? We can see strong shoes on horse hooves. Horse shoes are fixed on his hooves with nail and hammer. So it gives so much pain for them. Next one, monkey. They make us dance and dance and dance. Even if we don't want to or we are in pain. That too with an empty stomach. So, monkeys are also made to dance with an empty stomach. Next one, cat. I can just roam around everywhere. Children love me a lot. They pat me and also give me milk. So, in this Cat is very happy because it can roam everywhere. And the children love it and give it milk. Next one, pigeon. Do you know people specially call out to me to feed grains? So in this, pigeon is also happy because it can fly in the sky and humans feed the grains. So, what we can understand from this? Do all animals have feelings? Yes, animals also have feelings. Animals feelings are also important like ours. Some people unnecessarily throw stones at animals. Some beat animals. They make them to do lots of works. I will show you a video. What you can see here? Yes. The humans are fixing horse shoes to its hooves. Can you see the horse shoe? Yes, that is horse shoe. And they are fixing that horse shoe to its hooves. Do you think all these are good? No, we must never do it. We should be kind towards animals. We must never tease animals or hurt them. And those who have pets should feed and treat our pets with great care. Remember, our wild animals are our national treasures. So, today's our topic is over. 
we will see again in the next class